How you doing guys? Today I want to I want to show you how to make a calculator coil winding counter with a retractable USB cable. So let's start it. What we need is a calculator. I got this one. I got this one from Walmart. It was a five dollars. You can get any of these cheapy ones in, in the Dollar Tree anywhere. But I got this one. So and attach this retractable USB cable it's pretty handy just I build a 3d print a uh, coil winding machine I build it and I use it for a drill so I want to use it for everything so I don't want to just have a piece of wire hanging look all crap crappy so this is pretty cool the tracks stays whatever whatever long you're gonna connect it because sell more you got that wrong where you can connect it, whatever the far you want to put it, it's really nice. I like how it came out. So, oh, and I got the other connection that we can see. I got the counter right here, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you how it works. And let's connect this. Pass a magnet through it. Got a magnet here. This one is to one plus, then equals, then whatever you want in, then you can start passing your magnet. See? Start counting. And, I mean, you can take it anywhere you want. It looks cool. It doesn't have a wire coming out on the side, looking all crappy. So I use this one. I got this one from an old mouse, but this is a tractable cable. You can get it from uh, Home Depot, Lowe's. I've seen them there. So let's start. Let's assemble this calculator. The first thing we need to do, we need to find the equal um, connections. So we know this is the equal size. This one here. So because this is a little paper, we need to find the bottom connection right here. You need to follow it, and the top one. So what I did, you need to follow this one on whatever calculator you have. Just find the equal size, the connection on the back, follow it. Right here, is this line right here. To follow it right there, you need to scrape a little bit off of the enamel coating, a little bit. Then find the other one, it's this one right here, it's this one right there. Sure. You know which one it is. In my case, it's this one. This one right here. Follow this one. And follow this one. That's right here. You follow. 
hole in it. It's right there. So what we do, we scrape a little bit of the paper, just a little square, and then I scrape the enamel coating, put a little bit of uh, flux on both sides, and then attach your little wires. This your negative, trying to find your negative, your positive. In this case, it doesn't matter, just connect them, soldering. This case is the way I did mine. Right here, and I just scrape a little bit of here with my wire, attach it, and after you got that done. Then you put everything back on the battery. Let's put the battery back, put everything together. It's that easy. It's very easy to do. Anybody can do it. I made this one because I need something to count that turns on my coils when I'm making coils. So I decided to make this one. Nicer because I got a machine, I just did the printer machine to wind coils and I use it for my drill too. So I decided that use this retractable USB, it's pretty nice, handy, and you still can use the calculator, has a calculator. Okay, now since you got everything done, you got your calculator. Turn it on. You do one plus equals cost counting. Okay. Then let's say you got your machine. Plug it. Then you got your magnet. And start counting. When you drill, you can attach it to your drill bit, whatever, and start counting. You coil, it turns every time they pass through the counter, it starts counting. Turns that's how it works. You know what? Let me show you real quick my machine so you can see it and see how it works. A 3D print this one, and this is my coil winding machine. I was talking about right here. It's nice. See? Here is what I got the counter. I'll attach it right there. You can see it right there. The wires and everything. I designed this this one. I designed it. I'm a 3D designer. I designed this one. Through the print all of it. I attach my USB cables. This is my design. I designed the pedal for all this. I'll show you. And I got my for this machine. I 3D print my USB pedal right here. Show you how it works. You can see it. This is for the foot pedal. Let's attach this one. Now, let's attach the GSV for the calculator. It's this side right here. Attach the counter. This is at the attaching tool. Right there. I got forward, reverse, whatever I need. Now, let's put it in action. You guys can see it. Good to go. So, see, you pressed. Okay, then what you do? One plus equals. Let's start counting. 
So you want to reset it to zero, and it's like counting right there for number one. And you're gonna see it right there in action. It's just it's gonna be my pedal. You just step on the pedal. Of course, turn it on, forward. It's like counting. this head of your view because in case I need to be grabbing the cardio or fixing it or you know work on it and you can see how many turns we have we got 45 50 turns whatever you're not gonna make a thousand turn that then how many turns you need to do for cardio or uh you need a wire call for the metal detector for anything that's going to be my next step. I'm going to make a coil for a metal detector on the other And then I'll uh, we'll post it later. Okay. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. Any questions, you can leave it down below. And I'll answer as soon as I can. See you later.